excitement about the president's Absolutely. arrival for tomorrow. You know, just about every part of central New York is getting ready for his visit. And we wonder, how will this historical event impact our children in the classrooms? And to answer that, mm -hmm. Dan Bowles, the superintendent of North Syracuse Central School District. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Dan. Yes, good evening. Thank you for having me. So much to get to. Let's start with the president's visit tomorrow. Certainly monumental. How are you feeling leading up to the event tomorrow, Dan? I am so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited personally. I'm excited for Central New York. I'm excited for our students and our families. This is just something that they will remember for years to come. Um, uh, we'll be able to hear what the president has to say uh, because there's a, a vision that I believe is being laid out and uh, our ability to partner with local colleges like OCC, um, our local BOCES and other school districts um, to make that vision a reality. Certainly a special invitation for all superintendents who were invited to the president's visit tomorrow. So, Dan, why was it important for you to say yes? Well, um, Micron has really gone out of their way for many of us, and we need to make sure we are collaborative and showing what we can do to make something special happen, because this is something that's going to transcend Central New York and really our country providing this additional chip factory um, here, right in our backyard. And you're going to be partnering with Super New York. Many of you are going to be there tomorrow for the president's visit. Um, and this is going to be a real collaboration among superintendents in central New York when you think about what Micron is going to offer our future children, right? We'll have to be talking constantly because there's just going to be such a ripple effect and the careers and opportunities are just going to be something that we haven't seen in, in our lifetime. And we not only have to prepare students for the current jobs that they have, but there's going to be jobs that they're going to be exposed to that we haven't even thought of. And we need to make sure we're working together so that we can prepare our students uh, for those jobs and to be able to stay home in central New York. So many times our students, after uh, either high school or, or college, they've had to look elsewhere to really have a sustaining career, especially a technical career. And now that can be right here in central New York for us to be proud of. Mm. And Dan, what are some of those things that you hope that your students can take away from you really just even attending tomorrow's presidential visit? Well, some of the things that our students can take away is that the president himself is in, in, in Micron are investing in their future and someone cares about upstate New York. So many times we hear about other locations, but this is their future. These are careers that they can, even right out of high school, uh, aspire to uh, obtain. And this is something that doesn't come around very often. And it's, it's right in their backyard. And I think there's, they will be very proud. And um, I think it'll be something that did, they just can't wait. We got about 30 seconds left, Dan. What do you envision happening tomorrow and what are you expecting to hear from the president? What do you hope to take away? Well, I think the president's going to lay out uh, uh, his, his personal vision and how, how we got here and also talk about what Micron has to offer, not only local districts, but local colleges as well. So I, I want to listen to what we can do as partners in this collaboration to prepare our students in, in K through 12 for that next level whether they go on to OCC or college or right out of high school and looking for certain careers. So they will lay out a foundation and how they will be able to partner with us and, and vice versa and uh, make sure that not only the schools but the entire community are involved. I know it's such a big day for you, Dan Bowles, and thank you for sharing time with us tonight to, uh, to kind of give us a feel for what you expect tomorrow and what it's going to be like Absolutely. to attend the president's uh, address tomorrow at OCC. It's fantastic. Thank you so much, Dan. You're more than welcome. Thank you for having me. And, of course, please join us tomorrow for News Channel 9's full coverage of President Biden's visit right here on the air.